Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 20 squad builder on this channel. Now in today's video, as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be showcasing an absolutely overpowered, insane, beastly 300k team built around this new released moments, Marco Asensio. This car looks absolutely insane. This car just looks like next level stuff, man. As you guys can see, his card is pretty damn insane and the team that, I'm built, that I've actually built around this card is just absolutely absolutely crazy as well man this team is going to do complete damage and foot champions and individual rivals now i just want to make something clear okay this is a 300k team built around marco senzio meaning that his price of the, the price of this spc isn't included into the squad so if you guys don't have this card already it's going to cost you an extra 90k but if you do have this card already it's going to cost you 300k so i just wanted to make that clear um as day and also guys if you guys haven't watched my career mode already make sure you guys do check out my norwich city career mode it is very fun very interesting interesting and just very intense man so i really do recommend that you guys do check out the career mode i'll leave a link to that down in the comment uh down in the description below but um yeah i've done enough talking let's waste no more time and just uh, jump into the squad builder man let's get it let's go Okay, so as you guys can see on your screens right now for this insane 300k team, the formation that I actually recommend you guys use is the 433 full variation or there's actually an alternative formation which I do recommend that you guys can use as well. But I'll show you what that formation is once I've shown you guys the whole team. So at the end of the video, I'll show you guys another formation that you can use with this team and where to put those players in that formation. But for now, we're going to jump into the first player of this insane 300k team and he goes by the name of Kevin Gamero in that striker position. This is actually a scream card a card that you don't see too much in FIFA 20 but a card that is very good very clinical and actually very very overpowered in this game as you guys can see man he is quite fast he's got 89 acceleration and 85 sprint speed he does have 87 position and 82 finishing with 84 shot power he also is very very agile and got some good dribbling stats as you guys can see he's got 90 agility 90 composure 88 ball control and 85 dribbling Kevin Gamero is a very very good card in this game man his dribbling is good his finishing good his finishing is good and his pace is very very good as well in this game he does only have three star skill moves which can be a downside or a con to using this card but to make up for that he does have four star weak foot so overall man kevin gamero this scream card is very very good and this is a card which i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get man but moving on now in towards that right wing spot in the right wing position man we do have probably my favorite right winger in this game and he goes by the name of usman dembele i just love this guy and you just can't go wrong with usman dembele guys you just really cannot go wrong with using this card i mean he is just perfect he is the ideal card that you guys want to use for this game your ideal winger man he's so agile he's got five star weak foot five star skill moves as you guys can see there man he's a pacey player he's got night uh, night free sprint speed 94 acceleration you also just have 79 finishing but i'll tell you something in game he's a lot more clinical than the start of 79 finishing man i'll tell you guys that from now um and he also does have 89 agility man 89 uh, dribbling 82 composure and 85 ball control he really is one of the best players in this game and yes i know it's only a goal card but still i still have him on my team i still use him i still love playing with him i enjoy playing with him he is just so so insane in this game and so i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up usman dembele man you really just won't regret it. it's such a good card man just so overpowered in this game i can't stress it enough but moving on now into that cam position we actually do have anton greasy griezmann in that cam position man a very very good cam in this game as you guys can see man he he's not the fastest player he isn't the fastest player he's only got 81 sprint speed and 82 acceleration man but he is clinical he's got good passing and he's a very very technical dribbler in this game as well so as you guys can see man he's got 90 attacking positioning 89 finishing 82 shot power 83 long shots he also does have um 82 long passing 85 short passing 90 agility 92 reactions 90 ball control 88 dribbling 89 composure like anton griezmann in the attacking position man is just a very very good player to have especially in that camp position man just very very overpowered he also does have four star skillers as well but again a small con of griezmann is that freestyle weak foot but overall man i've used griezmann before and again i just really really enjoyed using them a card which i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and get man but let's move on now towards the two center mid spots we do have some beasts in these position man so we're gonna start off with the left center mid position we actually do have hector herrera and it's with is his winter refresh card and i actually really really do like this card and i highly recommend that you guys get this card man it's a card which you don't see enough in this game at all man and i don't know why because he is he is just insane man again 
again a card that I've played a lot with this FIFA since he came out and I really did enjoy using him as you guys can see he's got four star weak foot and three star skill moves he's six foot one high high work creates he's got a decent pace for a sentiment as you guys can see man and he's just a well-rounded box-to-box -box player man just such a good engine a box-to-box -box player he's got 75 finishing 85 shot power 82 long shots he's got 81 long passing 84 short, short passing he's got 82 ball control 80 dribbling he's also got just amazing defensive stats as well 92 interceptions 91 defensive awareness 92 standing tackle and then 75 sliding tackle like i said man he is an engine he's got 98 stamina as well like literally guys please give this card a go you're just gonna feel how overpowered he is in game once you start to use him man just such a good card such an underrated card and just a card which i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and get man but in the other side on the right center mid spot man we actually do have marseille's frenchman in the midfield and he goes by the name of morgan sanson but it's not any old morgan sanson it is actually that man of the match card and again this is another really really good card to use in that center mid spot another box to box center mid card another engine as you guys can see man he's good defensively and he's good offensively as well he's got 81 finishing 85 shot power he's also got 79 standing tackle and 76 sliding tackle so there is a good balance between attack and defense with this man of the match sanson card and that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him and also technically dribbling wise he isn't that bad either he's got 84 agility 84 ball control and 80 dribbling so i really really do recommend you guys get sanson and then just to top it off his passing is very good as well with 88 long passing and 86 short passing so overall man this sanson card is a very very good card in the card which i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up for yourselves man but let's move on let's move on in towards that left back position and we do have in my opinion one of the best left backs in fifa 20 if we're talking about normal gold cards and just forgetting about that forgetting the fact that icons exist man Jordi Alba is my favorite left back in this game man I really do like him I just like to call him a little rat because he is a little rat man he's just so small and fast and he's just so annoying to play against and that's why I have him man he is just so overpowered in this game what I like about him first things first is that he's pacey obviously he's 90 sprint speed 91 acceleration but what I like about him as well is that he's got, he's got a lot of stamina which means that when people do like to bring on their super subs which everyone does especially in foot champions everyone likes to bring on their super subs you know that a scream a dumb trial raise there i don't know lazano's or i don't know footman simon just any pacey cards you can think of that people like to bring on as a super sub ryan kent the fact that he has 92 stamina means that he's just got still so much pace left to cope with those super subs so that's what i like about Jordi Howard, man and not only that he is very very good defensively and his dribbling stats are also very very good as well 89 agility 85 ball control 81 dribbling like Jordi alba is in my opinion just the best left back in the game man i really really do like him man just so overpowered just such a, a good player to have in this game uh, to have in your team man so just make sure that you guys go ahead and get him man i just can't stress that enough uh jordi alba just such an overpowered player to use man but let's move on now guys let's move on to that uh right back spot we actually do have kevin malquit man as you guys know he does have a footmas car so if you do have that car go ahead and put him in but for the normal goal card man he still is good man he's just cheap overpowered and just sweaty man he's got 86 sprint speed and 83 acceleration and he does have 74 defensive awareness 77 stand tackle and 77 slide tackle man what i can say about malquit is that he just does get the job done man that's what i do like about him before i got his footmas card i used his normal goal card and i still enjoyed using his normal goal card man it was very very good so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, pick up malquit but let's move on now guys to the center barke partnership now guys we're going to move on to the two center back positions and in the right center back position we do have an insane champions league man of the match card and he goes by the name of kim Pempe. man i love presno kim Pempe in this game man just such an overpowered player such a beastly player he is a rock he is a stud no one gets past this man in this game i'll tell you that no one okay guys no one gets past this guy he is just that good i like him so much man he's strong just physically amazing defensively amazing and just pacey as well that's what i do like about him as well man he's got 80 sprint speed and 75 acceleration he also does have 86 interceptions 81 defensive awareness 84 standing tackle and 84 slide tackle man literally ken Pampe, this man of the match card is extremely um overpowered in this game so make sure that you guys do go ahead and give this guy a try out man such an overpowered card but to partner up with president ken Pempe in this 300k team in the central barcade position we actually do have samuel in 
dig deep and they ah oh, man you know what I can't lie it's been a while since I used Umtiti man but I remember to, uh, near the start of FIFA man I had this guy and I loved him to bits man I really did love him to bits I just I just thought he was so overpowered man I remember playing my first few foot champions games with this card um, like in the first month for foot champs you know playing with him and I just enjoyed using him so much whilst everyone had Lenglet I was, I was mostly using him Titi man and I just really enjoyed playing with this card yes he isn't the fastest but with a shadow his pace does increase a lot but defensively physically he is just insane man he is just such a solid player just someone that I just like to use a lot in this game man so physical so dominant in that centre back position and as you guys can see man he's got 87 interceptions 87 defensive awareness 88 standing tackle and 85 slide tackle and then like I said man he's a, he has got some physical presence about him so he does have 86 strength so this Mtiti card just is just such a beastly card man so I make I, I recommend that you guys go ahead and uh, pick him up and put him in your teams but to complete this insane 300k hybrid in the goalkeeper position we do have the man himself, Lecomte, in goal, man. Just such an insane card. Again, he's only 82 rated, but like I said, man, it's not about the ratings. It's just about how they perform in games. And I, I'm going off how I've seen him in game. You know, I could have put anyone else in this team, but I chose him. I could have put any French goalkeeper in this game, but I chose him. And I've chosen for a reason, guys, man, because he is just that good. Like, I just I just really do recommend that you get him, man. Honestly, he's only 82 rated. The stats may not even say, you know, he's only got 82 diving, 78 handling. But what I've seen in game from what I've been using, he's saved me so many times. And that's why I do recommend that you guys use Lecomte, man. Just such a good goalkeeper. So please, guys, make sure you guys do give him a test because you really will enjoy using him. And when you do, you can come back to me and say that you love him, man. But yeah, so this is the 300k team, as you guys can see right now on your screen. But like I did say at the start of the video, there's another formation uh, that you guys can use. So I'll quickly show you guys what formation you can use as well. If you guys don't like the 4 3 3 4 variation, you can actually use the 4 2 3 1 formation with this team as well. And if you guys are going to use this formation, then I would recommend setting it up like this with Asensio left cam, um, Kevin Gamera at striker, of course, Usman Dembele at right cam, and then um, Griezmann in the cam position, and then Sanson and Herrera as the two DMs. And then, of course, the defensive lineup will stay the same. So you can switch to this formation in game obviously do this by creating a custom tactic preset If you do then this is how you should structure the team But as you guys can see man, this is the 300k team Let me know your thoughts of this 300k team down in the comment section below man I think this team's absolutely insane I think you're gonna crush your opponents with this team man Just so overpowered so sweaty so beastly man And just you will have fun using this team man I'm telling you you will have fun using this team But it has been your boy RB plays Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below of this team Hope you guys did enjoy this video video as well don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications as well so you guys never miss an upload but it has been your boy rb plays ladies and gentlemen boys and girls girls don't forget to check my career mode as well link to that in the comment section um i keep why do i keep saying in the comment section link to that in the description down below man and uh yeah it's been your boy rb plays and i'll catch you in the next one peace out baby